Hey there, Wargamers, Justin Aaron Page here, and today I'm uh, using my cell phone, trying out the microphone at work, see if it works, and I wanted to show you guys some of what I've been working on. I had a little bit of time today here at the end of the shift to get a little airbrushing done. It's real nice because at work I can just make a mess on the floor with water because it doesn't matter. Um, but I um, was working on doing some base coats today. Um, I used this guy for the first time, the uh, Harder Steinbeck Ultra. Um, for the price point, uh, I've only used it once, um, but it's really, really nice. Um, I don't know if this is uh, gonna be a, a auto, auto recommend um, thus far, because I usually give my recommendation for the starter airbrush for people as the Patriot 105 from Badger. It's honestly, it's, it's that bad boy right there. It's my most used airbrush and the cheapest I have, uh, but this guy right here um, at a similar price point is, is really nice. One of the things, I keep taking off camera. One thing that's really cool is like this trigger it won't go back so for new artists you have to push down then pull if you don't it won't move and that helps you get used to uh airbrushing because you need to be giving it air before you give paint otherwise if you pull that back before paint will get on the tip and spurt uh, it's also got this little gizmo here um, that allows you to uh, dictate how far it goes back now some airbrushes do have that built in back here this one's preset so like if you're priming get a lot of flow and then if you're base coating or one, two, three for settings, and this just rotates. So you see all that restricts how far back the airbrush can go. And here is just wide open, use it the way that you want. And then here prime, base coat, you can see it's a little bit more shallow, little bit more shallow, so like that's barely going, just little tiny spurts. And then that's opening up a little bit more, open up a little bit more, and then full blast, full control. So. Nice little airbrush, I think, for starters. And honestly, I got some good work out of it today. And uh, that brings me to the minis that we have here on the desk or the plywood, as it were. Uh, so I've got a bunch of um, mechs that I've been spraying red and uh, to get my base coats down. These are all for a, I think it's Alpha Regiment or Battalion, whatever the, the term is for um, Wolf's Dragoons. I have um, earmarked all these minis for a playable force for those and was getting the red down on them. Uh, the next step's gonna be the actual detailing. I gotta hand paint all the black. Um, one tip for airbrushing is start with the largest color first. Uh, the caveat to that is sometimes, or larger surface area, caveat to that is sometimes you might go with the most annoying color first if you were doing like white, if it was easier to hand paint the other stuff instead, you might do that. In this case, the bulk's gonna be red, so hand painted red, or sorry, airbrushed red, I'll hand paint the black. Uh, so we've got our, our little mechs here. But one of the things that I'm going to be working on with these, um, beyond just stuff for YouTube, um, for things to play with, is uh, every year I do some entries for um, Nova Open, uh, their capital palette. And I've got a single model to enter this year. That's probably going to be my Cheetah, uh, since I canonized that paint scheme. And I think that is pretty badass, if I'm honest. Um, and for my diorama this year, I want to do Wolf's Dragoon's Alpha uh, Regiment or Battalion, whatever it's called. And I want to use um, these guys, not all of them, definitely not all of them. Uh, it'll be a selection. So we're going to use like this one and this one and probably that one and that one. And maybe, maybe the Mad Cat, wherever he's at. There he is. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I might do eight guys instead of five. We'll see. Um, probably do eight. We'll see. Um, but I want to follow Anthony Scroggins' Shimmering Sword on Deviant Art. Um, he's got a uh, Wolf's Dragoon's uh, piece of artwork that I also have autographed and framed on my wall. And I want to have this guy and this guy present because those are the four, four or mechs in the foreground of his picture. He's also got Shalones, which is why I've got those. And if I was at home, I would grab, um, I'd edit this and show you I can't, uh, so I can't show you the art. But in the background, he's also got a drop ship. So I have printed this at work. This is from Hardware Studios, and I'm gonna have this as part of the display in the back corner. Got the legs. Mechs will be like here, Shalone's flying, and then we'll have a backdrop with like space stuff, which I think would be really cool. Um, and to try and emulate kind of um, the artwork that Anthony did. Uh, for the unit entry this year, so this will be Diorama. Uh, so Diorama, I'll do a single model, which will be the Cheetah. I'll do a bust, which will probably be my, um, uh, duh, 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 duh. my wizard if I get that done hopefully he's just been I've been intimidated by him honestly um, and then um, for my unit so a single model if I just said the wrong single model cheetah diorama um, Wolf's dragoons um, bust will be the wizard unit will be uh, gamma galaxy clan wolf um, I did the tutorial on it 
I'm fine tuning this to look better um, so that they look cleaner. So we'll have a five man unit here. I really just want to paint a Kodiak. Uh, may or may not be fluffy, but we're going to call it, uh, was it a Isorla, I think is the, the term for Battlefield Salvage or, or um, Rewards. So we're going to use that because I think it'll be really cool. Mad Cat's obvious because it's a good centerpiece, um, good canvas. Shadow Cat's really cool. Puma and Grindel I just think are neat, but these will probably be the focus. Those two, the primaries, most likely. Uh, in addition to that, uh, my uh, paint class at Nova got approved. So some of the process I did on this, um, which was in the tutorial that has been up on YouTube, if you're not following that, you should check it out. Um, I will be covering some of those types of techniques in the class. So airbrushing, using some speed paints, things like that. I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna do the Gamma Galaxy paint scheme or Beta Galaxy Clam Wolf. Um, I think the Beta Galaxy is getting the edge right now because it's a very common scheme that a lot of people probably wanna do and you can do it quickly with some speed paints. I did a tutorial on that. Um, but I think uh, this is a close contender because it's really nice. Uh, and these are really bright, like woo, depth perception. Um, these, the paint scheme is just really bright and vibrant. And once we throw on the, um, uh, the black stripes, which I'm hand painting those, did not mask them, we're gonna hand paint them this time. Um, but I think that would be really cool and people would probably be interested in seeing that as well. So uh, that said, that's all I got for you guys today. I wanna do something with the cell phone. Check out the new um, um, microphones. Uh, well, it's not new, but new for work, new for me to try. Um, and see how that worked on here. And if it works out well, maybe I can record some more things on my phone and give you guys some more periodic updates. Um, that said, that's all I got. If you guys want to support what I do, you know what to do. Check me out on Patreon, hit that like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll catch you guys hopefully next time. And make sure you're rolling your dice and painting your models. Because if not, what are you doing? What are you doing?